Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. And tracking a few thunderstorms developing not only along the front but out ahead of it as well. Those have had a little bit more strength to them over earlier Coffee County, now Franklin and Anderson counties. Those storms mainly early tonight. Best chance for that southeast and mostly just hailstorms if they reach severe levels. Cooler tomorrow as north winds move in. Maybe a couple of lingering showers redeveloping tomorrow afternoon. Very nice for Friday and a little warmer and breezy as we head into your Saturday. Here's a look at the front itself. You can see that line moving over Junction City in Manhattan right now on up to just northwest of Holton uh, near Wetmore, Hiawatha on up into northwest Missouri. Not a lot of strength to those thunderstorms. The stronger storm is south of Ottawa, north of Garnett, moving to the east, northeast toward Paola. That is where the severe thunderstorm warning is for Franklin County until 5.30 this evening. Again, that one moving to the east, northeast with up to one inch diameter hailstones. Earlier had a lot of cloud cover move over Emporia as those storms were forming. Manhattan, you can actually see the front right overhead, but that front pushes in and some cooler north winds will move in through the area and cool things off. Right now, 77 with southwest winds in Topeka and still fairly humid with a dew point into the upper 50s. Enough moisture that you can kind of feel it in the air a bit today. Not muggy, but it's there. 66 this morning for a start of the day and a high of 77. We should cool down lower than 66 by midnight behind the front, but as it stands right now, that was a lot closer to the average high than our average low. 75 at Blue Rapids, 74 Clay Center, 72 Marysville. This is behind the front. It's not right away cooler, but it will start to get cooler. Middle to upper 70s to the south and east. Here comes these northerly winds and northwesterly winds at about 12 to 22 miles per hour right now. That will continue to move through. Our winds will shift around to the north and stay breezy through the daytime tomorrow at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So breezy, cooler weather. As the front itself continues to push into the northern half of the area, we're watching not only storms develop our, across our area, but more importantly, the storms developing to the southwest as those expand northeastward. That's why our southeastern counties are under the severe thunderstorm watch until midnight for the storms to enhance later on this evening along Interstate 35. That's the most likely area for some storms, and then that pushes out. Tomorrow, redevelopment of a few showers through the central part of the state could clip some of our western counties, but those should be just very few and far between type of showers and then clearing out for Thursday into Friday. Tonight we'll look for temperatures to drop back only into the upper 40s late. Before that, it'll actually be pretty warm. 80% chance for showers and storms over the southeastern counties. Much lower percentages to the west and northwest behind that front. And then cool day tomorrow, north-northwest winds and temperatures struggling to hit a high around 60 degrees. So kind of a stormy night. After that, we'll clear out. 60 tomorrow, 66 on Friday, 76 Saturday. Easter Sunday, storm chances later in the day with a high of 77. Could still see a few showers on Monday and temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70 for the first part of next week. Don't forget to join us tomorrow at the North Topeka Dillon's location from 3.30 to 6.30. We have another weather radio programming event. Again, that is tomorrow afternoon and early evening. And a quick hello to the third graders at Marlott Elementary in Manhattan. Spent some time out there talking to them about weather and severe weather. Uh, of course, enjoyed the nice weather with a look at the, uh, the storm tracker outside and a good group of kids, again, third graders at Marlat in Manhattan.